Today I've got a giant sea monster. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 38. Okay, <laughs> let's just get on into it. Uh, Jesse's napping, so I'm going to try to get this done before he wakes up. But he'll probably wake up because he always wakes up before I get done. <laughs> but um, first I want to say welcome to all the new people. I've had a lot of new subscribers lately. Um, thank you all for sub subscribing and watching and liking and commenting and all that stuff. And then welcome back to all the original um, subscribers. Uh, Dana. Is it Dana or Dana? Oh, I suck at pronouncing. Tabitha tre Tabitha's Treasures. I knew that your name was different and then I forgot and then I remembered. So I know your name's not Tabitha because I remember watching the episode where you were talking about that. But um, I finally just got to the post office today. I know it's late. I know I said I was going to try sooner. But it's, it's um, for me it's Thursday the 18th, I think. Um, 19th? I think it's the 19th whatever Thursday is, <laughs> um, I finally got to the post office and sent your package out, so it is on the way. Uh, I'm sorry it's late. And also, I have to add that I taped it shut without putting the card in it. I was going to send you a card just, you know, saying congratulations and all that stuff, but I accidentally sealed it before I remembered to put that in there, so it's not going to have card in it. <laughs> but um, it is on its way, and I think they said it would come. Excuse me, I just drank a bunch of water, so I'm burpy. Saturday. It should be there. Saturday. Um, I think, yeah. <laughs> so, congratulations again. And the next winner for the Knit Crate giveaway yarn, Knit Crate yarn giveaway that I'm still hosting, it's still going on. It's open until the 28th, which is not this Saturday, but the one after it. Um, you know, whoever wins that, I'll send it out as quickly as I can. Uh, I can't promise it'll be super fast, but whenever I have time to run to the post office. But, yeah. Um, there's a lot of people that's entered that so far, and if you haven't yet, I'll link it above in the iCard, which I think is over there. It's over there. No, over here. It's over here. <laughs> I always forget which direction. Um, but yeah, I'm giving away some Knit Crate yarn, because, um, I'm sure most of you have done seen it, but I've become a Knit Crate ambassador. My hair's real frizzy today. But, um, so they sent me a crate already, April's crate, and I got this, uh, yellowy green color called Prickly Pear. And I'm giving it away. It's two hanks. Um, I think it's size three yarn. And it's a lot of yardage. I can't remember exactly. But, um, so, yeah, if you're interested in that, go ahead. And also, I will link below. I just hit something. I will link below my Knit Crate link. Um, it's an affiliate link. So, if you click through it and buy anything through that link for from today to 180 days, I will get a little bit of money from it. 2%, so that's a very small amount of money to change, but uh, it won't charge you anything extra, it just, it comes out of their money, so. And also, if you want to try Knit Crate, um, the subscription box, you can get your first box for 20% off, so it's about $20 for $63 worth of yarn and patterns. By using the coupon code, I'll pop it up, it's no catchy name 20 at your checkout, and you'll get 20% off of that. Which is a really good deal, because Knit Crate's already a good deal, but then with the extra 20% off, it's an even better deal. <laughs> but yeah, that's enough of that plugging and all that. Let's move on to the stuff. Let me check on Jesse. Okay, I got the baby monitor down here. Uh, we'll start with the elephant in the room, or in this case, the octopus in the room. Oh, it's very heavy. And by very heavy, I mean it's like 6 or 7 pounds, which is heavy for an amigurumi. <laughs> Maybe even more than that, I don't know. But yeah, he's done. You can't even see all of them. He might be a little bit out of shape too because my nephew was playing with him yesterday when they ca they came to visit and he was wrestling it. Oh, I can't even hold it. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about it before I drop it. It's called The Huge Octopus by Mama Mosley Crochet. It is paper pattern. It was gifted to me, but it's an awesome pattern. I would suggest buying it. Uh, I do have a note about it though. I will say that in a minute. <laughs> uh, I made it with Burnett blanket. Um, this is dark gray. The red color, which is also the underneath, is called purple plum. And this whitish color, I'm thinking it's called cupcake. I can't remember. It's not white. It's like a yellowy white. But I think it goes good. I mean, it's white enough that it looks white. <laughs> and I did just make his pupils with the leftover red because I didn't want to use black. Just, you know, I just wanted to use up all I had. And I did use two jumbo skeins, or balls, of gray. Technically it was a jumbo skein and two of the small ones, but the two small ones equal the jumbo one. I used one jumbo of the purple plum, and I used almost all of it, but like a yard. After I did the pupils, 
I don't have like a yard left. <laughs> I was playing yarn chicken and I got really scared, but I, I did beat it. And then the white color, I used probably half of a jumbo skein, so about um, one of the regular size skeins. Oh, I'm gonna down, he's heavy. And he's got about $15 of fiber fill in him. He is very stuffed. And I kind of feel like I could have stuffed him more, but he would have been a lot heavier. And um, I didn't want to use all my fiber fill. <laughs> on an octopus although i love it and jesse loves it he's played with it a lot and i made it for jesse my son he's turning two on may 1st his birthday party we're having it on april 28th not 29th it's a sunday um before his birthday so i made that for him because we're going to get him we're also getting him a um membership to the aquarium so that we can go because we all love fish here <laughs> we're big um marine people <laughs> whatever but yeah that's the octopus i love the octopus it was a fun pattern and the body the underbody and the eyeballs were all very quick super quick workup because you're using big hook big yarn i used a k hook by the way the pattern calls for i think an l and i didn't have l so i just used k but it still came out awesome um the only thing i hated about this was sewing it together or crocheting it together it is single crocheted all the way around. The pattern actually, uh, the one who wrote it, she does one side in the white and one side in the underbelly color to give it like a dimension look. But I just didn't want to mess with that, so I just went all the way around the whole thing in white. And I still think it looked looks good. Ugh, it's so heavy. But um, it was a pain in the butt because up here on this part, the way you do this, I'm not going to say how you do this because it's a paper pattern. But there's kind of gaps in some of these, so it's really hard to crochet it together. I don't know. It just took, I think crocheting it together took about the same amount of time it took to crochet the gray part along. I'm sorry if I'm shaking it. It's all on the table. But yeah, he's cool. He's just been hanging out in our living room since he got finished. I think I finished him two days ago. Sunday or Monday. I can't remember exactly when. But yeah, just, Jesse was scared of it at first, but I, I warmed him up to it. You know, I told him that it was just a toy and that it was an octopus, you know. Because I don't think he knew what it was at first. Uh, sorry, drink some water. <laughs> My hair is really frizzy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting it cut. It'll before the next crochet talk video. This this kind of video that comes out Friday, I will have my hair cut because I'm getting cut this weekend. There will be a crochet chat that comes out that my hair is still long because I filmed it yesterday. I meant to put it up yesterday and I was just busy and forgot to start uploading it. And it's gonna take. It's a really long one. It's almost an hour long, so it's gonna take a while to <laughs> upload. A couple hours. All right, did I say everything about him? I think I said everything about him. That's the only thing that I didn't like. And she doesn't tell you how to crochet together. She just says to do it like the picture. So if you're not used to, you know, like how to crochet things together, if you're like a new amigurumi type crocheter, uh, it might be a little confusing. And like, you know, you could tell from her picture that she did one side in white, one side in blue color, because she used blue. But she doesn't say that at all in the pattern. It just says to do it like the picture, <laughs> but it doesn't say how to do it like the picture. So that's one thing that I didn't like about the pattern. But other than that, it's a great pattern. And you just, you know, like I just crocheted it all together. Well, what I was actually working on that in the next crochet and chat video that comes out. I'll be working on crocheting him together. And I think I complain about it a lot during it, so I'm sorry about that. And also, uh, spoiler alert, the next crochet and chat has nothing to do with crochet. All the questions I drawed, drew out were life-related ones. So if you're not interested in my life, then uh, I would skip that one. <laughs> but if you are interested in just my life and getting to know me a little bit better, then it's kind of an interesting video. Uh, um, this is what I'm looking for. Episode. <laughs> Alright, that's my only finished object. I can't even remember if I said that. His eyeball's poking up right there. Let's push him. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's get on to whips. I'll just do this one because it's closest. It's in my skeleton bag. And this is my Snowman Pixel Graph Square um, by Sarah Zimmerman. It's a free pattern, and it's part of her blanket that she made of pixel images for Christmas. And it's also a part of Terry from the Yarn Joy podcast. Um, her Facebook group, she is hosting a, what is it called? Crochet Along. Oh, gosh, there's so many yarns attached to it. It's all tangled up. Maybe I can get it out. <laughs> um, I'm a month behind. Uh, this snowman square was for March. <laughs> I forgot what last month was. There was a bunch of ends everywhere because I haven't, I don't do, deal with my ends until like, I'm done. But this, I did work on it some. It's starting to get features of a snowman. I'm not exactly sure which way is the front. I think that's the front. 
but this is the one that doesn't have balls hanging on it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm slowly getting it done. I'm probably going to be behind this month to April's, but I'm going to try to catch back up on me. Because I, I don't like being behind. <laughs> but yeah, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver uh, Cherry White. This is a random orange. I've had it forever. I'm not even sure what brand it is. This is Red Heart Super Saver Black Spring Green. And this is a Red Heart Super Saver Blue. But I can't remember what it's called. I think it might just be blue. They're all Red Heart Super Savers this time. I'm making that with an elf hook. I'm doing mini corner to corner, which is half double crochets instead of double crochets. But yeah, set that back there. Uh, yeah, I will link uh, all of Terry's stuff um, below in her channel up above somewhere in the i card. Let's see, where's my next whip? I'm going to go ahead and do this other way in the bag. This is in my Christmas bag, one of my Christmas bags, Seasons of Greetings bags. This is a commission. I got this, um, sheesh, Saturday or Sunday, I think. I got a message on Facebook about it. I'm going to be finishing it this weekend. I just worked on it a little bit when I first got it. And it's with an elf hook. It is called the Friendly Elephant. It is a paid for um, Ravelry pattern, but if you go to her blog, which is linked on her Ravelry page, it is free. So far, I've just got the legs. <laughs> this is, um, I think, Petal Pink. Yeah. Red Heart Super Saver Petal Pink, and this is just Red Heart Super Saver White. Um, the person who is getting buying it from me is getting it for a baby gift. And, uh, yeah, it's just going to be a cute little elephant. I'll pop up a picture over here of what it's supposed to look like. It's just a pink version. But, yeah. I just worked on this a little bit the day I got it, but I'm going to go hardcore on it this weekend and finish it because she wants it on the 27th. Which is next Friday, I think. Yeah. But yeah, and I'm using my little mouse, um, Susan Bates Palmer clay hook. <laughs> I love them. That's a mystery hook from, I think, the Clay Bean Company. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think that's who I got it from. I can't remember. Alright, my last whip. My last active whip. I, I still got a couple whips that I haven't been working on, so I don't count them. <laughs> And I'll be starting some more whips soon. I'm just waiting. I was wanting to wait to finish the octopus and then now this. This is real close to being done. This is Miss Super Snappy. And y'all can see how big she's going to be. Alright, there's her head. As you can see, she's stuffed now. I didn't stuff her a lot because she's meant to be like a rag doll. And she's more decoration than toy. Mine is. I mean, you can make it a toy. I sewed her arms on. And I finished both of her legs and sewed them on. And she's stuffed. she got a hump on her back because she's kind of squishy. I've got to make her pigtails, do her facial features, and then she'll physically be done. Oh, yeah, i got to do her shoestrings. I forgot to do that yesterday. And then all I have to do is make her little um, sweater and skirt. I think she's got a skirt. But, yeah, she is huge. I don't even know how tall she is. She is probably, like, two feet tall, maybe even over two feet tall. But, yeah, I think she's cute. I'm making this for our fair for the doll <laughs> category. Uh, and then she'll probably just be decoration. I'll pull her out because she'll be in a like a purple outfit with flowers on it. So I'll probably pull her out in springtime just to set her around to be pretty. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. I love I love Heidi Yates. Did I already say who this is from? This is Miss Super Sep Snappy by Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Tots. It is paid for a pattern, but she always has coupon codes. You can almost always get a discount or free pattern for her. But um. A lot of her patterns have a bunch of different stitches. She does a lot of sample patterns, which I've made some of the scarves, and it's where every part of it is made with a different stitch, just so you can practice stitch work, and uh, it just look, makes the texture really cool. Because her, like her head is just, um, I guess single crochet back and forth, but this right here is like textured. But this, this color is all of this yarn, light peach. This is Red Heart Super Saver Cafe Latte, I think. And her underwear is Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst. And her shoe, her bottom of her shoe is Red Heart Super Saver Light Raspberry. And the top of her shoe is Red Heart Super Saver uh, Orchid. And I will be making her clothes out of the amethyst and the orchid and the flowers on her, her little jacket sweater is going to be this color. With probably like a yellow centers or something. I don't know. And she's going to have pink cheeks and uh, little pigtails, I think. And um, a smiley face. I don't think she has a nose. I can't remember. But yeah. 
I'm almost done with her. I wanted to get her face done last night, but Jessie started getting a little toddlerish, so we ended up just snuggling and watching Golden Girls, and uh, he finally fell asleep. I love Golden Girls. That's one of those shows that I can watch all the time, just like in the background. It's my background noise. But yeah, that's all my current whips, my active whips. Whips. This Saturday is the Earth Day event that I'm, I got a box of hair stuff that I'm sending to it. I hope I sell some of it just for fun. If I sell any of it, it'll probably be, the money will be used for either Jesse's birthday or yarn. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then I'm going to start trying to work on stuff for a Christmas thing that's later this year. But I want to start, I want to like work on some of the bigger stuff now so that then in between getting the big stuff done, I can work on little ornaments and little things like that just randomly. But uh, I plan on making a few Santa and Mrs. Claus sets to try to sell. Um, and maybe some elves, like the ones that I made uh, last year. The one that I made last year. And um, a bunch of Christmas ornaments and little things like that. Little Christmas gift ideas. Like I'll probably make some more of those little octopi and uh, F-bombs. Um, I'm hoping, I'm going to see what sells good this week to see maybe what will sell good then. And some of the two fairy things. You know, just a bunch of the little things like that. So yeah. That's this Saturday. I will update y'all on that if it goes good. <laughs> I might make just a video about it. I, I'll have an inventory list and I'll have all the patterns and stuff that I use linked below. So that'll be cool. Just to see what sells. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not selling my stuff for real expensive prices. And it's not that I don't value homemade stuff. It's just that I'm not needing the money as a business. You know, I'm doing this just as a hobby. And in my local area, because I live in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, um, stuff, you can't really sell handmade stuff for a lot. I mean, if you're a woodworker or something like that, you can, but, uh, crochet and stuff like that, every other, every other person's grandmother down here does that. So, if you want to sell them, like this octopus, I already told everybody on Facebook that I'm not making that for less than $130. So, if anybody wants one of those, that's how much they're going to have to pay me. No one is going to pay that for around here. People would expect that to be, like, maybe 30 bucks Because they could go get their grandma to do it for them, you know. That's just how it is in my area. You just can't make money off of handmade stuff like that here unless it's specific things. Like, you know, like around here, woodworking stuff sells really good. For some reason, people put a higher value on that than they do things like crocheting it. But, you know, I'm okay with that because I'm not using it as a business. I'm using it as just a way to make extra money to um, buy stuff with. With that being said, I'm going to go into acquisitions. I have a few acquisitions and I have a few future acquisitions. One of them is I ordered some yarn from Hobby Lobby yesterday. So it's going to be a while before it gets here. Because I don't think it had fast shipping. It was like a week or so. Which I guess is fast compared to what it used to be. But, <laughs> you know, now with Amazon Prime, everybody's used to, you know, the next day or two. But um, I ordered enough yarn to make two patterns. One is a Magic Carp, which is a Pokemon hat that I want to make. <laughs> uh, I'll pop up a picture. And one is uh, a face hugger, which is an alien off of the movie Alien. Uh, the franchise. I want to make, I'm probably going to end up having to make a multiple of those because I want one for myself and I know my brother's just probably going to want one and I got a friend that might want one. <laughs> but um, I'll pop it up too. It's a big, it's not as big as the, the almost an elephant. <laughs> not as big as the octopus, but it's pretty big. Um, and I also ordered a thing of stamps just because they were on sale. But um, what else am I ordering? Oh yeah, I ordered some of the earring thingies. That open and close like that. I don't know if those are called <laughs> hook thingies it's for stitch markers, but they're coming from like China and it says it's not coming to the end of May. So the last time I ordered something from there and it said that it came like a couple weeks later, it's just I guess they don't want you to expect it to come super early, but it sometimes can. And my other acquisitions that are actual physical ones. Oh, I got that other material, but I don't know what to do with it. I bought a scrap of material at Hobby Lobby in the bin where people bought it and brought it back which is weird like why would you do that but it's like a uh, fat quarter size no it's high, it's bigger than that it's like a half a yard uh, it's really pretty like antique pink and cream color with rose print on it that i got to make a bag and then i just got two of these uh like off-white fat quarters to be the liner these are from walmart and then from amazon <laughs> i ordered some more safety eyes because i'm getting really low and these down here, the sizes I use a lot, and then these ones I use every now and then. I still have a bunch of the colored ones from my last pack, so I just, I really needed these little ones. And these are really cheap. Through Amazon, these are like 
I think $12 for all of these, and this is all the backs. And it also came with some little noses, like dog and cat noses. I just got those today. This is the brand, by the way. I don't know how to say that. I don't even know what language that is. Uh, this, last time they didn't even give me a tag, but this time that tag was stuck in there. And then at Hobby Lobby, they had all their beads, stringed beads, and in those little tubes on sale. So I bought this string. They look like splattered with paint. <laughs> and this string to make stitch markers with when those little hooky things come. I also bought a pair of the little wire plier thingies that's round at the end for bead working but it's in my box and it's in there and I don't want to go get it and then I just got there's all the yarn was 30% off and I had plenty of extra money to spend on yarn but there was nothing I really needed other than the yarn that I ordered so I did just pick up two balls of this it's the yarn bee urban chic what was the color aqua <laughs> I thought it had a different name than that but it's aqua um it's just this really pretty blues with white mix in with it and then orange and pink coming through and there's also a darker blue i i saw this and i thought it would be a cute amigurumi probably like a bear or something i don't know a fish maybe i just had extra yarn money and it was on sale and it was pretty so i bought two of them because if i want to make amigurumi i might need more than one but if i do change my mind and end up making a hat or something i'll still have enough this is 78% acrylic, 22% cotton. It's very pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Can't wait to use it. Although it'll be a while before I get to use it because I want to get done with all this stuff that I'm working on right now. Before. Oh, I also got one more acquisition. I'll just kind of... Oh, that big bag of stuff. In. <laughs> That's one of those 10-pound bags of polyfill or whatever from Walmart. I got mine at Walmart. I just had to take it out of the box because Jesse kept opening it and it kept like spewing out. So I used a lot of that plus one of those little bags to stuff the octopus that I had already, the little bag. And then I just tied a knot in it and stuck it up there um, to keep it from spewing everywhere because if you've ever bought one of those, they, the more air it gets into it, the more it expands. So it, uh, it spews everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, so I got, I'm good on amigurumi fiber fill for a while and that's only $24 for 10 pounds of it. And then those little bags I used to always buy are like four bucks for... I think two pounds so yeah I'm probably gonna keep just buying the big boxes at the time and I know you can even get uh, I think 25 pound boxes or 50 I can't remember there's a big giant box too online that you can get that I might order one of these days just to have on hand but I mean we live in a small apartment and that bag is already taking up a lot of room so I couldn't imagine one twice the size of that let me check on the bulbs again you want to see him he's sleeping he's got a big duck in there with him <laughs> There's a lot of light coming in his room. I'm surprised he's sleeping. He's like Devin. He likes it dark. Ah, I'm thirsty. It's kind of talking a lot. I think that's everything. The only thing that I got is some announcements. Or not announcements, but whatever the cat. This part of the video is called where I talk about stuff. <laughs> uh, I already mentioned Terry's cow, which is still going on. It's going on all year. And there's also still Claudia's cow, the uh, hashtag box of ornaments cow. I haven't made any Christmas ornaments lately, but I do plan on between now and November making more. Because, um, you know, it's going on until November. And then uh, mine and Mo's cow, Mo from Unseen Strands, I'll link it above. Um, she's hosting on her Ravelry group, which will be linked below. I'm hosting it on my Facebook group, which will be linked below. And it's the Cakewalk Cow, where you can make stuff, um, any kind of patterns, any kind of caked yarn. Originally, I said just actual store-bought cakes but now I'm just gonna go with what Mo said you can cake your own yarn to use because I know a lot of people have a lot of yarn that they just want to use and it may not necessarily be cake like this is a ball but you know if you had this you could kick it up and use it um, but the main reason like the main the thought of the cake what cows to use yarn cakes at least that's what I thought you know like Karen cakes and mandala and Burnett pop and sweet rolls and all and all the all, all the cake yarn <laughs> But, um, you can use whatever yarn you want, I guess. Just cake it up. <laughs> and, um, share your, uh, your works and progress on the Ravelry group or the Facebook group. And then, whichever one you enter, or both, if you want to do both, um, put it in their finished object thing, threads when you get done, and then you can get a chance to win prizes. Uh, I know for sure I'm going to have one prize, but I may end up coming up with more than one winner. Because I have plenty of time. I have until October to, uh get prizes and stuff 
So yeah. And she's doing the same thing. She's going to have multiple winners. She's already decided that and she's coming up with stuff. I already have a few things here that I'm going to give away and then um, probably make some bags. I got a cupcake material. I was trying to find cake material, but that's really not easy to find. I'll probably have to order it off of Etsy or um, Amazon or eBay or something. Because it's hard to find material with cake on it. But yeah, I think that's everything. I'm looking around to make sure I didn't forget something. But by the next time, the next uh, Friday video... She will be done, I hope, if I don't have trouble with her clothes. But they're done just like baby sweaters and stuff. So I will have Miss Super Snappy done. I'm hoping to have that elephant done. And it'll probably be gone. I might get to film it. I don't know. It depends on what day she wants to pick it up. She said 27th, but she might change her mind. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'll, if I can't uh, film it, I'll try to remember to take pictures at least of it. Because I think it's going to be super cute. And... I would like to get the snowman square done before next week, but I can't promise that. Um, it all depends on if Jesse gets babysat because I usually work on my corner of the corners when he's not here because they're so frustrating with all the bobbins and stuff. Um, so yeah, but for sure Miss Super Snap is gonna be done because that's my personal goal to get her done. She has been on the hook way too long for an amigurumi. Granted, she is big amigurumi. I've had two giant amigurumis this week, but. Um, I want to finish her up and get her in my fair box because Jesse's already been wanting to play with her and I don't want him to mess her up before she gets entered into the fair. Then he can play with her while he wants after she goes to the fair. But yeah, I don't know. I might enter the octopus if he survives that long. I don't know what category he'd be under though because he's not a doll. I think they have toys, crocheted toys, or maybe even pillow. He might go under pillow too because <laughs> he's awful big. If he survives to the fair, I might um, enter him in it. But yeah, I did calculate if you're interested. If I had a paid full price for this yarn, which I didn't, my sister bought all three, or yeah, all three balls of this, except for two of the little grays I bought myself. But she bought me three of the Jumbo Burnout blankets. I keep on saying something else, I don't even know. At Goodwill for 99 cents each, and they're usually 9.99, so that's really awesome. And then the fiber fill. Calculated it all together, and it, and just, um, material he cost about $65 to make and that's just material uh, had I had to buy his pattern like if it had been an order and I had to buy his pattern I didn't already own it that would have been another I think 550 plus uh, my time he has taken a lot of time to work on um, I didn't like to keep track of it but it would have been a lot of time especially the sewing together I can't even guesstimate how much it was but it would have been a lot. That's why I said that if anyone on my Facebook wants it, because usually when I post something on my private Facebook, uh, a lot of friends and family, ooh, I want one of those, can you make one of those? And then it's like, I'll make you one if you pay me for it, because yarn and time isn't free. So I put it on that post, and if you want one of these, it's going to be $130 at least, because of materials and time and frustration that uh, I definitely going to have to make a profit off of that thing if I, I make it again. She does also have the same pattern but a small version because that's what she did. She wrote the small one first and then she decided to make a jumbo one. I think his eyes look a little weird but it's okay. He's also been squished on. I mean my nephew, he's six. He was tackling it and throwing it across the room and jumping on it. I'm surprised it's still the right shape that it is. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I want to make a giant um, jellyfish. I think that'd be cool, like in blues and greens, because blues and greens are like my favorite colors together. Yeah, it's totally random, but yeah. I think that's everything. I think so. Oh, and to all the podcasters out there, I have been watching y'all's videos. I realized the other day that I haven't been commenting on any of them because I normally watch your videos on the TV. And I put them all in my Watch Later playlist, and then I just stream, or what's it called? Cast it to my TV and watch it on TV while I'm sitting with Jesse or while I'm crocheting and I was like I just realized that I'm never crocheting on people's or crocheting <laughs> never commenting on people's videos so last night when I was watching them I was trying to comment on her videos I was watching on TV and then I'd go on my phone and comment real fast because um I wanted you to know that I do watch your videos I'm just I get busy watching them on TV and I don't even think about commenting on them and I don't want you to think I'm not watching your videos but I am I am <laughs> and um yeah, I think that's the only thing I wanted to say. That and the cake walk cow, I mentioned that. And also, I'll go ahead and throw in there again. My knit crack link will be below. <laughs> if you're interested, click on it. If you're not, don't. That's okay. It's cool. I don't care. <laughs> um, the next one comes out in May... 
the, I think the third week of May is when they send them out, second or third week. So I'm hoping that'll be a cool one. And there may be another giveaway involved because, like I said, if I don't really like the yarn or if it's not something I think I can use, I'll give it away. But if I do like it, I'm probably going to keep it. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. But yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video for sure next Friday. And I'll have a different haircut, hopefully. If I don't chicken out, which I shouldn't. I'm so sick of this right here. And I know it's from wearing ponytails. But I can't help it. I have such long hair. And with Jesse, I have to do something with it. That's why I'm wanting to get it cut off. And hopefully these fuzzies will go away. <laughs> or, you know, grow out. They won't just disappear and all that. But, um, yeah. So I'll for sure see you next Friday, which is the 27th. Um, but I'll probably see you in between on um, crocheting chats or mail hauls or whatever happens. It happens. But, yeah. Uh, I hope you all have a good weekend. Mine's, I'm hoping mine's going to be good. We're going fishing. We got our fishing licenses today, our year. We pressed it. We usually get them in February because they're cheaper in February than they are any other time of the year. And I had to get a new fishing pole because mine, the uh, drag broke. But, uh, and me and Devin couldn't fix it, so we're just, I'm just getting a new one. I just got a new one. I already got it. Um, the one that broke is the one my dad actually bought me like nine years ago. So I'm keeping the pole because he's dead. I don't know if, if all y'all knew that. He passed away in 2013 of uh, esophageal cancer. But, um, so I mean, I'm going to keep the pole. I'm just not going to use it. But yeah, that was totally random. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.